Hello and good day. We are highly welcome for today's tutorial. I believe you've watched the previous video, the introductory video on the material pricing, the FIFO, LIFO, simple, weighted average, and so on and so forth. So, if you have watched that video, then you will understand better what I'm going to solve now. So, try as much as you can to take note of the major things I listed out in that video. So, to answer this question, it says, for the six months ended 30th June 2015, Soft Study Nigeria provides you with the information below with an opening balance. Now you can see here we have an opening balance in this question with an opening balance of 500 units valued at 70 Naira each. So to answer this question, remember I told us in the previous video, the opening balance goes direct to the balance section. We don't record it under the receive, neither do you record it under the issues. It goes direct. To the balance section. So what do we have there? We have 500 units valued at 70 Naira each. So coming over, over here, the quantity is what? To have 500 units. Take note, don't let this confuse you, okay? 500 units. It is units. Don't let this confuse you in case you see something like this in the exam. But better still, let's shrug it off. So 500 units valued at 70 Naira each. We have 500 and we have 70. So 500 times 70 gives us 35,000. 35,000. Meanwhile, we'll make use of the first month, all right? Since this is the sixth month ended 30th June, all right? So from here, the first month we have is January. So we'll make use of the same dates, January. Then under the received, there is no transaction recorded here, okay? So it goes direct to the balance section. Now, the question itself, take note of this, this is quantity bought and quantity sold, alright? So quantity bought is still the same as the received, okay? Quantity sold is the same as the issues. Then, you observe the date, again, it is very, very important. You can see we have January, March and May. We have February, April and June. So you don't solve January, March and May, then February, April and June, no. You get it totally wrong. What you do is this. You solve January, you pick for January, you go back to February, you come to March, then to April, you go to May and to June, then you are done with it. So, for January, this is quantity bought, so it will be recorded under the receipt section. We'll have another January here. And how much is it? 500 at what? 74. So, 500 times 74 gives us 37,000, 37,000, okay, 37,000, so what is the next thing, remember under the received, okay, received here will add, alright, remember this at all time, when it is coming down to the balance section, why issues will subtract, take note of this, it is very, very important, so 500 plus 500 gives us what, 1,000, alright, then we we'll have nothing here, okay? Then 37,000 plus 35,000 gives us what? 72,000. So take note again. Under the receive section, if it's coming to the balance, we add it up. So 500 plus 500 gives us 1,000. The unit price, there will be no entry. Then 37,000 plus 35,000 gives us 72,000. So that is it for January. We now come to February, we have 700 units at what? 100 Naira. Now, take note of this, please. Take note of this. It is very, very important. This is not relevant, okay? It is not relevant. What we make use of is what? The 700 under material pricing. LIFO, the unit price being given, we don't make use of it. So take good note of that. These things are just there to confuse you. So if you don't have a better understanding on how to solve questions under the FIFO LIFO weighted average, you will pick these values and it will give you a wrong answer. So this is what we are more particular about, which is what? The quantity that is being sold. So we are to issue what? 700 units. 700 units. Now how do we go about it? What you do is this. It is February. So here we have nothing. It is February. So we have February here. So the next thing we do is this. 700, right? So under the receipt section, there is no transaction. Then you write 700. 
Okay? Then you write 700. After writing the 700, you will now take a look. We are solving for what? The first in, first out. Which means the money that comes in first will go out first. Okay? The transaction that was recorded first will be worked with first. So, this was the first transaction we had, which is what? 500, which was the opening balance. Now, this is 700 we are meant to issue. 700 and 500, you can see there is a big difference between these two values. So, which means you can't use 500 Naira to pay 700, sorry. You can't subtract 500 units from 700 units, okay? You can't use 500 to pay for 700 units. So, what we'll have to do is this. We'll record, we'll pick this 500 at first. Then, we'll now check for the remaining balance we need and we'll collect it from the next transaction. So, it is very simple. What you are going to do is this. This is 700, right? And this is 500. So, here we'll write what? Working one, working one. So we we'll have what here? Our work one. This is 700, right? Now, 500 naira, we'll pick this value. 500 times, we'll make use of the unit price, which is 70. So 500 times 70 gives us what? 35,000. Okay? Now, we have collected 500 units, and the question says that we should issue out 700 units. So we still need 200 units. How do we go about it? Now we have exhausted the money we have here and there is nothing remaining here. What we'll do, we'll come over here to pick the remaining balance which we need. And how much do we need? 700, okay? 700 units. So when we pick 200 to complete this 700, this is 200. We will now make use of the unit price where we collected that value from, which is what? 74. So we have 74 here. So 200 times 74 gives us 14,800. Then we'll add up these two values. When we sum it up, we have what? 49,800. Now when we sum these two values, we have what? 700. So you can see it, is, it now tallies with the question, which says 700 units, quantity sold. And this is 700. So we have 700 and our working one. So for the total, we will pick what? 49,800. So we have 49,800 here. Okay? We have 49,800. Mind you, when we collected 200, we are left with what? 300 units. So we still have a remainder of 300 units there. Take note of that. So coming to the balance section, and this is issues, it is going to be subtracted. So we say 1,000 minus 700, it gives us what? 300. We have nothing here. Then 72,000 minus 49,800, it gives us what? 22,200. So we have 22,200 here. Okay? So we are done with February. We'll come over to March. You can see this is January, February. We'll go back to March. So for March, it is 450 at 77. So we'll record our date again. March 450. At what? 77. So we multiply these two values. 450 times 77 gives us 34,650. 34,650. 34,650. So it comes directly. Here we have no transaction. So 450 plus 300 is 750. We have nothing here. Then 34,650 plus 22,200 gives us 56,850, okay? So unlike the first video, the first video we solved, we showed this working in the question itself, all right? Because I told you I'm going to solve these questions with two different methods. The first method, we show the solution. Before we record this value, before we add or we subtract, we we'll first of all bring it down and we'll now show the process again. But here in this format, we just go directly. Instead, we show our workings just as we have done here. So, we are done with March. Let's come over to April. For April, we have what? 500 units. Remember I told us that these values are not relevant. So, we have 500. So, we record what again? April. Record April. So, how much? Under the receipt section, there will be no transaction. So, 500. This is 500. Now, we'll now take a look at the balance we have. How much balance do we have here? 300, right? We have 300. So, can 300 units pay for 500 units? 
No. All right, but you can make some part payment. So what we'll do is this, we'll pick 300. Right here, you write what? Working two. So we'll record what again? Working two. Now we'll pick the 300 times the unit price of the 300, which is 74, okay? So 300 times 74 gives us 22,200, all right? Now, how much do we need? We have exhausted this, okay? We have exhausted our value. So, we need what? 200 units more. So, when we come over to this next transaction, we subtract 200 units. So, here we'll be left with what? 250. Okay, once we've subtracted 200 units. Now, the 200 units we subtracted is what we have here. Watch, if you add it up, it is 500. And the question says what? 500 units or quantity sold. So, this 200, which we collected from this value, we will now multiply it with 77, which is the unit price where we made that subtraction from. So we have 200 times 77. So when we multiply these values, it gives us 15,400. Then you add it up again. So this two value here gives us what? 37,600. So you can see we are done with this. So we'll just bring it up here, 37,000. 600. Now the next thing you do, you will come over to the balance section and because it is the issue, so it is going to be subtracted. So 750 minus 500 gives us what? 250. Here we have nothing. Then 56,850 minus 37,600 gives us what? 19,250. So we have 19,250. So I hope you understand the steps, please. Try as much as you can to practice this daily. Try several questions to get a better understanding. So we are done with April. We'll come over to May. So for May, remember this is the receipt section, right? So we have 750 at 79. This is 750 and we have 79. So 750 times 79 gives us 59,250. Under the issues, we have no transaction. So 250 plus 750 gives us 1,000. We have nothing here. 59,250 plus 19,250 gives us 78,500. All right? You can see for that of the receipt, the receipt section, we don't have issues with it. Okay? So we'll come over to the last transaction, which is in June. And June, we'll have what? 800 units quantity sold. So we'll have June. And it is what 800 so there will be no transaction no entry here coming to the issues we have 800 now we take a look at the remaining balance we have here it's 250 so 250 can't cover for 800 units right so we have what working three so we have our working three so how much do we have here 250 so we say 250 times the unit price is what 77 so 250 times 77 gives us what? 19,250. Now, how much more do we need? We still need 550 because it says we should subtract 800 units. So when we come here to subtract 550, how much are we going to be left with? 200. So if 550 is being subtracted from here, we have 200 left. Okay? Take note of that. So we have 550. Now, the addition of these two is 800. As you can see, the question says what? 800. And as you can also see, we have 800. So, 550 times, where did we collect this 550 from? From there, this unit price, all right? So, times 79. So, when we multiply these two values, it gave us 43,450. Then we add it up. When we add it up, we have what? 62,700. Okay, so we have 62,700. Now, coming over to the balance section, 1,000 minus 800 is what? 200. We have nothing here. Then 78,500 minus 62,700 gives us what? 15,800. And that is just it. Okay? This is the best way and this is the easiest way to solve it because some questions will tell you to show your workings just like this question. Though it didn't specify we should show our working, but some questions will tell you, show the workings. So this is exactly how to show the workings, okay? So remember, 
take good note of the steps and the procedures. Watch this video, use this same video and the same techniques to practice other questions. So, and use the same videos or uh, techniques to practice other questions, okay? So, if you have questions or you need clarification, you drop a mail, you send us a mail, student 70 at gmail.com. Remember, we have a lot of questions on our website. Visit our website, practice a lot of them. You can drop the answers on the comment box. We will definitely give you feedback. Do have a blessed day. In the next video, we will solve the same question for the LIFO method, which states, last in, first out. Before we go, take note of this. After solving this question, to verify if you are correct or not, the balance which you have here, remember we have a balance of 200. If you multiply 200 with the unit price, it's supposed to give you the same final balance you have here. So take good note of that. After solving, you can try it out. This is our final balance now, 200 quantity, 200 units, right, rather. So 200 times 79 will still give you what, 15,800. So if you do it and you get a wrong answer, that means you have missed the step somewhere. Do have a good day and we'll meet you at the top. Thank you.